Welcome everyone. Bienvenidos to my channel. This is Love Queen of Wands. Um, today we're going to do a reading for Leo and that's Leo. If you have Leo Sun, Leo Rising, Leo Venus, Leo Mars, anywhere where you have a Leo chart, you are welcome. Anyone who resonates, cross watchers, we're all welcome to receive this message today. Of course, this is for entertainment purposes only. And today we are going to do a reading with, I pulled three Celtic tarot cards, three Moonology cards, and three cards from my Oracle Fairy deck. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's start. All right, guys, so the first card is Five of Swords in Reverse. We have Ten of Wands upright. And we have the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse. And the theme of our reading is Ace of Pentacles in Reverse. So now I'm going to pull out from my Moonology deck. So the first card is Luck is on your side, New Moon. Sagittarius, waning moon, what do you need to release? And full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. We definitely have fiery signs in this reading. All right, so I'm going to clarify the three cards. It's clarified by Ace of Swords in reverse, Six of Cups in reverse, and Ace of Cups upright. Just a reminder, these... Readings are timeless and they can resonate at any time. All right. So, okay, the first thing that stands out to me is the Five of Swords and the Ace of Swords in reverse. So you have two swords clarifying each other and swords are about communication. So it just feels like there is this lack of communication with someone and there's going to be a resolution to that. Like that situation is going to come to an end. Um, and it just feels like because of the ten of wands upright, it feels like this connection is a huge burden to you. Um, it's something that's weighing you heavy. It's something that's bothering you on a daily basis. Something that you probably think about a lot. And if you look at the card, the Ten of Wands card, you see a man holding um, ten wands in his back. And it's heavy and he's carrying it to this really dark place, this castle. Um, and if you look above this card, you see the waning moon. What do you need to release? So to me, it's like saying... You need to release this connection that's bringing you a lot of burden. It's weighing you down. It's heavy. And you need to let go. Or you need to find a resolution that will work for you or for both of you. But it just, with the Ten of Wands, it just feels like it's time it doesn't feel like a connection that should be kept around. The Ten of Wands is clarified by the Six of Cups, which is a card that talks about letting go of the past. It's also a card that talks about childhood. So it makes me wonder if this connection has been going on for a long time. Like you, maybe you've known this person for a while, for a long time. Could possibly be high school sweethearts. Um, doesn't have to be, only if it resonates. Here we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Now the Queen in reverse talks about someone who isn't grounded. Someone who lacks stability, someone who lacks financially. Now, it can be you or another person. Remember, roles can be reversed for any of the cards. There is no gender in tarot. And so, it being along with Ten of Wands, it just clarifies what I said with 
feeling this burden, not feeling grounded and wanting to find this solution to move on from this connection. Now, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is being clarified by the Ace of Cups. Now, the Ace of Cups talks about a new love, a new beginning. So there is a possibility that if this connection does not work, then when one door closes, another door is open. And so if this connection is not working, it can be for a reason. Like my Moonology card says, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. Sagittarius is a sign of adventure. It's a traveler's card. It's looking at things from another perspective. Sometimes things don't work out and that's okay. That's okay. Maybe it's not meant to work out right now. And maybe you can, can work down the line. Maybe you guys can meet up again in another time when you guys evolved as, you know, as human beings evolved and learn the lessons that you need to learn. Um, so now I'm going to go and check out the Oracle of the Fairies. And the first one I have is Wish Wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. We are manifestors. We are all manifestors. And we have that power. We have that ability. We write down, take a piece of, uh, a piece of paper, a journal, Write down exactly what you're looking for. It can be for a partner. It can be something you really want, your future, anything. Write it down. We have that ability. Words are powerful. We have that ability to manifest things into our lives. And so your guides are telling you, wish wisely because you are a powerful manifester. And choose wisely what is it that you want to attract into your life. So the next one is inspiration. Be prepared as you'll receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she can call at any time. So your guides are, are asking for you to be using your creative side. Now it can be something that you've been holding on on. Maybe you wanted to take that class of painting and drawing and you were just... I don't know, you're just holding it back and saying, no, maybe not. Or maybe I should not go into that career, that major in arts or whatever. Do it. This is your sign. If this resonates with you, take this as a sign saying, go for it. Do it. It will be in your favor. Go ahead. You can do it. And so your guides are letting you know with this oracle card that, if there's something that you really want, just let your creative side take over and it will bring up new ideas into your thoughts, into your mind. Maybe you're stuck on something and just being creative sometimes can be the answer. All right, so our next card is find balance. Find the balance between work, rest, and playtime and you will have more energy, harmony, and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. So here it goes again. Your guides are letting you know that, that you need to find balance. You need to find balance. If, if you feel like maybe you're doing too much, maybe that's what's not grounding you. And that's why the Queen of Pentacles in reverse came out in this reading. Maybe that's why the theme is Ace of Pentacles in reverse, which Ace of Pentacles talks about in reverse. It talks about a missed opportunity, something not beginning. It's, you, maybe you need to find balance. There needs to be balance in your life. Maybe you need to take a, take a step, take a break. Take and just stop for one second and breathe. It's okay. You can breathe. And say, okay, I'm going to take time for myself. Time to focus on me. Not focus on any, 
you know, relationship or anything that's toxic, a friendship, a connection at work or, you know, whatever. But take that time to find that balance in yourself, in your life, because sometimes we need that reminder. And remember that luck is on your side. So if you're having a hard time moving on from this connection and you want to go to another chapter in your life, just know that it's okay that things are going to be in your favor and you have that luck, a little luck on your side. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share if you know any other Leo or Leo Crosswatcher that would be interested in this video. I really appreciate it. So thank you very much. Love, Queen of Wands.